Hello, this is Miss Cat from the Wood County District Public Library. I have a very unique book with me today. This is called Sam's Sandwich by David Palham. I would like to thank Penguin Random House for permission to use this book. And this book looks like a sandwich. In fact, it's going to give us some really great ideas of things we can do in the kitchen to make ourselves a sandwich. And as long as you don't put in some of the extra things that Sam puts in this crazy sandwich, I think you'll be allowed to keep helping in the kitchen. Samantha liked to sit and dream of donuts filled with chocolate cream. Giant burgers, heaps of fries, frosty shakes, and cherry pies. Shortly after Sunday luncheon, Samantha wanted more to munch on. Oh, Sam, she wailed, what can I eat? I need a really special treat. Let's get some butter and some bread and make a sandwich, sis, he said. His sister yelled and jumped for joy. We'll make a good one, boy, oh boy. Come on, Sam, I'm starving. Quick, and spread that butter really thick. Don't worry, sis, smirked Sam. You'll never eat a tastier sandwich, ever. Uh-oh, look at Sam's eyes. Those are sneaky, tricky eyes. Look at that smile. He's going to do more than just make his sis a sandwich. I think he's going to play a practical joke. Samantha said, I've never seen lettuce leaves crunch so crisp and green crunch. But as a zesty little filler, Sam popped in a caterpillar. Oh, no. In the fridge, Samantha found big tomatoes, red and round. But in the garden, Sam had dug a hole and found a slimy slug. Samantha gave Sam's hand a squeeze. Just come and try this yummy cheese. But in the pocket of his pants, Sam had saved some big black ants. I think, Samantha said, I'll flavor it with some watercress, my favorite. Meanwhile, Sam thought he would try to add some flavor with a fly. Ew. And here's a tasty little number. Samantha sliced a huge cucumber, but to really make her squirm... Sam dropped in a wriggly worm. And some hard-boiled eggs as well, Samantha drooled and cracked a shell. But Sam had seen a silver trail that led him to a crunchy snail. Don't forget this huge salami. I only wish we had pastrami. But Sam had found right there beside her a very large and hairy spider. Gosh, she shrieked, more favorite things, slicing off some onion rings. One ring contained a little hole in which Sam slipped a small tadpole. Samantha yelled, it's finished there, but sl slopping ketchup everywhere. But one last treat, it seemed to need a creepy crawly centipede. Licking ketchup from her lips, she reached her sticky fingertips toward the plate and snatched the bread. Won't you have some Sam, she said. Thank you, sis. You're very kind, but count me out if you don't mind. I'm full, I'm stuffed, I really am. So you can have it all, said Sam. 
Ooh, look at that tasty sandwich we made today. I would keep out those creepy crawlers, but we could have lettuce, tomato, cheese, kale or watercress, salami or turkey or ham, cucumber, onion, egg, so many good things. And of course, there is always peanut butter and jelly. See you next time.